Hello everyone, Angelus Demon is here. On this video, I'll discuss the future of Deep Dungeon on this channel. Right off the bat, I'll tell you right now that there is a very bright future for this channel and Deep Dungeon content. I already have the first 3-4 to four months of Dawn Trail lined up for content, and I am very excited to dive into it right away when Early Access releases on July 28th, as we attempt to go for World First on Floor 1-100 to 100 on one of the new jobs in Heaven on High. So what will we talk about here? Well, it's more of a question to you, the community and viewers. My earliest Deep Dungeon solo video was dated at November 1st, 2016. It's been nearly seven and a half years and here I am still posting even more Deep Dungeon solo content and watching an entire community continue to grow as we speak. I am always looking for ways to further the community and the channel as we move into the future. I will redo all of our guide videos from the Machinist Palace of the Dead Guides to the Warrior Guides, and so on. I will also unlist the previous ones once I get the new ones up. Take that as a warning for people still using the older guides, and if you may want to bookmark or save them. It will still be accessible, just not to the public. The reason for this is to prevent confusion with different guides. A big example was that I got a lot of comments of people asking me, hey, why do you have so much HP in this video? They were looking at a Shadowbringers or older video, which was before the stat squish in Endwalker. A new addition I did to the newer guides in Endwalker was that I intentionally went out of my way to pull every single enemy in each deep dungeon with a full explanation from what it does with timestamps. I remember reading in a community discord of a gamer asking, So I know Angela said you're not supposed to pull this, but what's it actually do? That sparked my desire to just showcase it in the guides because there will always be gamers who will ask that very question. If I say, hey, don't do this, you'll probably believe me, but sometimes the information has more worth if there is an actual visual representation of why you do not do it. Then you can make your own judgment from there. And this is where we come to the class participation part. Viewers, community members, random gamers who have stumbled across this video. I have laid out our general plan for the future of the channel and guides, but I want to know from you guys, what do you want to see? For longtime community members, think back to when you were first progging the deep dungeons and what you may think might have helped you if you had it. For new runners, if there is something you wished we had available to you, now is your chance to let us know while it's still fresh. Random gamers who may be here for the first time, what have you enjoyed from other guides that you think might be an invaluable resource to understand content in any game? The phrase of, please leave your comment below, will mean so much to me because you may steer the direction of my channel in Dawn Trail, and I will be very appreciative for anyone who spends their time to leave their thoughts on this video. I want to be better and get better in showing you guys how to do Deep Dungeon. We've helped so many people in all the years the content has been available, and there are so many more people to help. Every day I am watching someone try out a Deep Dungeon solo challenge, and it's so much fun to read or to watch it. And I know a lot of people have come to this content probably because you told them that this was really cool stuff to do, or someone told them of this really badass title, the Necromancer, Lone Hero, Once in Future, King and Queen. So I thank you guys for spreading the word of how cool this content can really be. I want to thank everyone who is listening to this for all your support over all these years, especially if you reach this part of the video. From donations on Ko-fi, to our various sponsorship opportunities, to our Twitch subscriptions and YouTube members. Everything adds up to being able to continue making content for you guys and to also push my own limits on what I am able to do. The Twitch supporters and subscribers, I will be making a big push for the Twitch Partner Plus program, where we need to get 300 tiered subscriptions for 3 months straight. I've been hovering around 180 for about a good year or two. If I were to get 300 plus subs on Twitch, my revenue split will go from 50-50 to 70-30, guaranteed for 1 year, which would be a massive help to being able to bring content to you guys into the future. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful day.